Hi there, welcome to Future Looks. I'm Eric. This uh, little segment we're going to take a look at the comparison between Gigabyte's P67A UD4 motherboard, the original on my right, and the B3 stepping on my left. These have uh, already shipped and a lot of the system integrators already have them, so we're going to give you a quick look at uh, some of the new things they offer. Now a lot of people aren't aware of why the, there was a recall in the first place. Well, it had a lot to do with this particular chipset, P67, codenamed Cougar Point. It affected some of the SATA 2 ports that were here on the side uh, for a lot of the for some of the platforms. Now, it may or may not affect your board. It depends on a certain set of variables like voltage, uh, overclocking, and of course, uh, uh, what kind of environment you have them set in. So it's very possible your board may never have an issue. As you can see here, both of these platforms are actually identical. The change again is inside the chipset. Some of the things that have been improved are actually also not seen. That's inside the BIOS. This has a standard BIOS, but still shares the same with this here. The new board comes with a little better uh, load line calibration uh, tuning. You can do a bit of overclocking and not have to worry about your voltages drooping too low. But to benefit from that overclocking, you're going to need some DDR3 memory to support uh, those attempts. We have here a kit from Kingston. It's their Gray Genesis HyperX uh, DDR3, a 2133 megahertz kit running at Cas9 latencies. The kit itself uses low profile HyperX, gray HyperX heat spreaders. What this does for these platforms is open up a little bit of space for those larger CPU coolers. And you've seen the ones with the massive fans on them. Well, if you have tall heat spreaders, you're limiting what kind of CPU coolers you can use. So these here help free up some of that space. It's a definitely high quality DDR3 memory. Uh, carries a 24-7 uh, support from Kingston as well as a lifetime warranty. The P67A B3 board has a slight bundle change in relation to the original. Uh, the new B3 ships with four black 90 degree e SATA, ca or SATA cables uh, that match the theme a lot better than previous. Now, the board on my right, of course, is discontinued. You're not going to see this on any shelves. If you do, it's still a functioning board. It probably will never give you any issues. However, the B3 is the one that you will find on the shelf uh, for $189 US at Newegg, and NCIX also has it for $199 Canadian. All right, there you have it. The comparison between the UD4 and the UD4-B3 stepping motherboard. It's a, Sandy Bridge is definitely a great processor. If you've been waiting to upgrade, now's the time. So we'd like to thank you for stopping by, and we hope to see you again soon.